Our love for Funko NFTs has been a roller coaster. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas again. So glad you're there, sir. You get the right time. We had an all time line. Pumples out, toys, and chimes. Don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. I'm so agitated. I got an email from Drop, you know, the guys behind the whole Funko NFT thing. Okay. They delayed my Transformers NFT Funko Pops to Q4 of this year instead of Q3. Well, I can tell you why. I already knew that. What do you mean? You know Intel? Yeah. Lay it on me. Go ahead, sister. Fluffy got them all. Mother Mm -hmm. Fluffy, not too long ago, posted a photo of all of his NFT Funko Pops. Mm -hmm. The Transformer NFT Funko Pops. Mm -hmm. That is trash! But before we jump into all this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit that little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post new content. We post new content every day and we go live every Sunday between 8 and 9 p.m. It's completely random. Also hit the like button because that helps the videos reach. Therefore, we can find more people to watch the GastroCast. All right, with all that that bullshit out of the way. This isn't the only set that's been slowed down. Some of our friends have been sharing photos with us of emails that they've received. The Retro Comics Funko Series 1 vinyl figures are also delayed until Q4 22, and the Nickelodeon NFT Funko Pops are also delayed to Q4. What the f What the f you go, you buy your NFTs. You're given a period of time to collect all the different NFT cards in order to get the royalty Funko Pop of the set. So when you buy the NFTs, you have a waiting period. And then you redeem them, and you have another waiting period. Well now, you have another waiting period. Exactly, that's my problem! I see that. There's too many waiting periods. And I understand being a little bit behind the eight ball due to the pandemic, but that was problems from last year. Things have gotten a lot better this year. So what the f is happening? This is a big issue, and it's not good looks when we see these Funko Pops sitting in Fluffy's basement. Do you know that it was in the basement, or was it like his second floor? The location of the Funko Pops do not matter, Heather. They were on his shelf! Well, that's all you had to say on his shelf. You didn't have to specify where in his house they were. They could have been in his kitchen. Who knows? Oh, well, you shouldn't have said basement, because who has a kitchen in their basement? And now there's going to be a okay, bunch of Okay, my grandmother had a kitchen in her basement. How dare you? You have a problem with my grandma? No, I have a problem with people with kitchens in their basement. Now that I think about it, my great grandmother had a kitchen in her basement as well. You got a problem with great grandma? Wow. Yeah. Your family is full of people that just like basement kitchens. That's weird. You're just wiping out my entire family. Man, if my great grandma were alive right now, she would make you the greatest mashed potato. She was very good at that. In her basement kitchen? Of course! Anyway, Fluffy was displaying them in his basement kitchen on his shelf, and I think that's a problem because all of us Transformer NFT Funko Pop collectors got this email and that is a problem it's a bad look that fluffy was getting him however i understand that he's part of funko royalty but the post a picture man what's going on it was a little much we made a video about this not too long ago so i'm not going to sit here and talk about the whole fluffy scandal that's what i call it it is the fluff gate okay you just coined a new term that was brilliant I... fluff gate yeah oh my god that might be the best thing you've ever said the cover photo for this video fluff gate bring it up how do you know things so well? I'm just good, that's all. I can't believe I met somebody and married somebody who is so brilliant to come up with something like that, but then to also come down hard on basement kitchens. Basement kitchens are great. My theory is that, remember what happened to the Halloween NFTs? Some people got them, some people didn't. Some people got grails when they were supposed to be getting a soda, and then the people who didn't get what they were supposed to get was the grails that they shipped to other people, but then they said that there were damaged pops and they were trying to get like replacements for them or whatever. Do you remember that? Everything that you just said was super confusing, but yeah, I remember. 
So here's my theory. When Funko sent out the grails that were supposed to actually be sodas, that was part of the problem, but it is very believable that they did have some damage in their shipments because coming from overseas and the way that the delivery guys handle packages, it's a little rough sometimes, and Funko Pop boxes are pretty fragile, right? So I, I get the damage thing. So what if they're delaying them so that they're not sending out half a shipment and then having the other half of people emailing them every day and Discord adding them every day and saying, where's my pups? You owe me pups. So they're just like, everybody back off. Sorry about it. Quarter four. Funko and Drop are mishandling the entire situation because we have boxes that are coming in incorrect. You got boxes that are being shipped out damaged. There's a lot of bullshit going down and I think they need to get their little hands gripped around this tightly and get it fixed because there's a lot of people spending their money with Funko Drop and they're dropping it on these NFTs. I mean aren't we in the fourth quarter though right now? I was supposed to get my pops sometime in October. I knew this because I looked at the website and I noticed that it was going to be sometime after New York Comic Con. About the Transformers was after New York Comic Con? Correct. Originally? It was sometime in October yeah. Well quarter four is October Understood. is quarter four. I get it. But my point is, is that I believe we were supposed to get them in October and now they're like, well, they're going to be delayed and it's going to be sometime in November and December. Well, October's still quarter four. It doesn't matter. I'm it, just saying it's getting pushed. It's being pushed back, Heather. Like I should get the pops the week after New York Comic Con, but that's not happening. Do you even care? No. What are you going to do with them? Just sit them on your shelf? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to put you them have... in Pop Shield armors from 7 bucks a pop. Head over to 7 right now. Buy yourself some Pop Shield armors. They're like the best way to protect your Funko Pops. Like this one right here. You can pull the top off. It has a magnet on it. They stack really well and they're really hard. These things are awesome. They are really awesome. Buy some over at 7 bucks Do you have any October plans for your Transformers Pops or are you just complaining to complain? Um, I'm complaining complaining to complain because I'm a Funko Pop collector. Okay. Well, that's fair. My point is, is that we sit around and wait for a very long time to get these Funko Pops. From start to finish, you're talking months. I feel like having delays in it is super f we should be able to get these within the time and parameters that they're giving us. We're spending a lot of money for this stuff and Funko and Drop are making a lot of money. So I would think at the top of their list is to get them into people's hands as fast as they possibly can. Do I really care about getting this Funko Pop in my hand right now just so I can look at it? Absolutely not. But it's the premise. Waiting this long is absolute trash. And not only that, but they screwed up big time by switching the sodas for grails. Yeah in the Halloween drop, yeah, and also allowing production pieces, so they said, to get in hands of people who put them on eBay before they were released. Yeah, a lot of NFT Scooby-Doo Funko Pops hit eBay and they sold on there. And it just is making people lose their faith in the whole NFT thing. And a lot of people weren't into it in the first place and we totally understand why. It's a total gamble. If you buy the packs, you don't know what the hell you're gonna get. If it's not a gamble and you just go to Atomic Hub and purchase your items there. They're really expensive. And when you're spending that kind of money, you want to know that you can trust the company that's giving you your items. And unfortunately, these issues are making it very hard for consumers to trust drop and it sucks. The biggest problem I have with all of this is that Funko and Drop aren't being very transparent. We're getting an email basically saying that the items are delayed and that we will see them sometime in Q4 of 2022. And although I do appreciate getting that email, it would be nice to know why this is happening. Is it a delay in shipment? Is it a delay in production? I know I'm asking for a lot here, but I feel like this should be dropped somewhere, maybe even drop Discord. They post all of their most important information there, so why not post why this is happening. Well, if they did, people wouldn't believe them. Like for the Halloween drop, they mentioned that it was due to damage or whatever. Nobody believed them because all the grails had gone out when they were supposed to be sodas. Well, I would appreciate a little bit of communication like that and it would put a lot of confidence back into the whole Funko NFT thing. There are a lot of people out there who hate Funko NFTs and I can name off only a handful of YouTubers who are in the Funko world that actually care about Funko NFTs. And that's a huge issue because of people People aren't talking about it, people don't care about it, and people are hating on it. How's the Funko community supposed to embrace this? If people are spending a lot of money, they're receiving their items damaged, they're receiving items wrong, and they're now also receiving their items delayed, how many more problems do we need before we say 
this. And by the way, that Game of Thrones drop that they just talked about is horrible. There's no Freddy Funko in it. I love seeing a royalty Freddy Funko. I saw a YouTuber talking today about why is it so important that the Freddy Funko exists in the royalty set. And the reason why is because Freddy Funko is a staple in the Funko world. And seeing him dressed up as one of our favorite characters is what drives us to collect all the NFTs in order to complete the royalty set to get that Freddy Funko in hand. Otherwise, I don't give a f why do I want another Jon Snow Fungo Pop from Game of Thrones? Why do I care about that? Now, if it were Freddy Fungo dressed up as Jon Snow, I'd be all over it. Yeah, and this Jon Snow could have been a common. These are all commons in this Game of Thrones set. We got to do better than this. This is absolute trash. All right, so I've complained enough. This whole new problem with the delayed shipment just adds on top of the sh list that I have with Funko NFTs these days. Now, if they drop a wave two of Transformers, you know I'm going to be all over it, but I will be concerned if they have more delays. Hopefully they figure this whole thing out and the process can be smoother. And my personal dream is that they can actually speed up the process so we're not waiting months to get these Funko Pops in our hands. Yeah, that would be awesome. But I want to know what you think. I know there's a lot of people out there who watch the channel who do not care about NFTs, but I know there's a handful of you who actually like all this stuff and I would like to hear from all of you so please let us know what you think of more in the comment section down below unfortunately this is yet another black eye to the whole Funko NFT thing and I'm sure there's a lot of people who are laughing at us Funko NFT collectors right now because this delay does not help anything don't forget head over to poppingofftoys.com for all your Funko Pops Funko Sos and Funko Mystery Minis they've got it all over there use our promo code GASWICAST to get 10% off check out poppingofftoys.com and hey patrons you get 15% off of your order and if if you want to become a patron of the GasoCast, head over to patreon.com slash GasoCast to find out more. Speaking of patrons, this is the part of the video where we like to shout out to 10 of our patrons because we love them so much. Thank you guys so much for your support. We appreciate you. The 10 names we would love to read off in this video are Trish and Raj, I'm Funko Jeff, Jeff and Angelo Harvey, Joshua G, Michael Petrino, John Bailey, Joseph Mayfield, Brian, Tony Hegman, and Greg F. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Hey, thank you for staying until the very end of the video. We appreciate all of your support. You guys are amazing. We want to let you guys know, head over to MischiefToys.com. That's our little toy company. Go and check it out. We're going to be dropping a brand new piece at New York Comic Con at booth 3641. If you're going to be at New York Comic Con, come and visit us. We have some really epic things to share with you and some really epic new merchandise that we have not sold yet. MischiefToys.com. Remember as always, guys, we are together. Yes, we'll catch you next time. Bye.